This is the 2017 Xbox E3 Briefing. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. Awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, no, stop. Uh, okay. Good afternoon to those of you with us here in person watching on this incredible 4K screen to the millions watching us around the world or TV or online, and to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, on behalf of everyone on Team Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. <laughs> when the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together to form the original Xbox team and deliver the first Xbox console, we were driven by three principles. Empower developers, delight gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. The original Xbox team lived by the mantra, there's no power greater than X. And today, we are pre proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One, X. <laughs> Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made, sets a new quality standard for gamers and game creators. Starting on November 7th, Xbox One X joins the Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. Now, I'd like to introduce one of our leaders in the Xbox engineering team responsible for making the Xbox One experience great for gamers and developers. Please welcome my friend, Kareem Chowdhury, to tell you more. Thanks, Phil. It's an honor to be here at E3 and represent three years of engineering the team has done to bring you Xbox One X. From the beginning, our focus on game creators and you, the gamer, 
gave us three big goals we needed to hit. Power, compatibility, and craftsmanship. Let's talk power, which starts with the specs. Six teraflop GPU clocked at 1.172 gigahertz, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. These are impressive numbers that are more powerful than any other console on every dimension, because that's what it takes to give game creators the power they need so you can experience true 4K resolution, 4K textures, and 4K assets in your living room. And when we say true 4K, we mean 8 million pixels, high dynamic range, wide color gamut, premium sound like Dolby Atmos, and 4K UHD Blu-ray playback. Next, compatibility. We knew compatibility was critically important for Xbox One X, and your reaction to 360 backward compatibility has energized the team even more. So right from the start, all of your Xbox One accessories and games will work with Xbox One X. But for the team and me, that wasn't good enough. We wanted more. The game library you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced visual fidelity, anisotropic filtering, and faster load times. Even if you haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Since Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on stage today will look better on your 1080p TV than anything you've seen before. And finally, craftsmanship. We meticulously paid attention to every detail of design as we crafted our most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We used 16 nanometer technology to build a 360 square millimeter chip with 7 billion transistors and a 384 bit wide memory bus. This is the fastest, most advanced processor to ever power a console. Our premium design means that every millimeter and every component within the console has been architected for maximum power and efficiency. Our aspirations were so high, an industry standard approach just wasn't good enough. The Scorpio engine is so intense that for the first time ever on a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber normally reserved for servers and high-end PC cards. An engineer on the Xbox hardware team invented a new power management system so innovative, we named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely optimizes every single Xbox One X at the system and component level to deliver consistent performance efficiently and elegantly. Now, it's easy to think all this technology and capability will mean a bigger console. But again, we wanted more. Not only have we built the most powerful console ever, Xbox One X is the smallest Xbox ever. This is the system you asked us to build, and it has been a great honor to design and build it for you. I couldn't be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much as we do. Now, Let's see what this monster can do. Exclusive world premiere.
please welcome, from the Forza Racing franchise, Dan Greenewald. In the automotive world, supercars are debuted at international auto shows. Frankfurt, Paris, Detroit. But through your passion for racing on Xbox and PC, Forza has become the premier partner to the automotive industry. So today, for the first time in history, a flagship supercar is making its world debut here at E3 in front of you. This year, we announced a six-year partnership with Porsche to bring you amazing experiences, both in-game and in person. Porsche shares our vision for the future of racing and esports, and this car has never been seen outside of the guarded walls of Porsche. That honor belongs to you exclusively. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. This is not only the most aggressive expression of Porsche's legendary design, it features the most powerful road-going 911 engine ever made. Like the Xbox One X, it's a monster. And with over 4.8 million active players across Xbox and Windows 10, Forza is one of the largest racing communities on the planet. You made this historic moment possible. Through your passion for racing, the digital and the real worlds are merging in an unprecedented way. So now, let's take a look at the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in Forza Motorsport 7 running on Xbox One X. I'm joined on stage by two presenters for our Forza Racing Championship eSports series. I'm Shannon McIntosh, professional race car driver and Porsche driving coach. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its limits on the sun-baked streets of Dubai. And I'm Verena May, professional racer and stunt driver. I will be fighting to survive dynamic weather in the Nürburgring in this Nissan GTR race car. We start with Shannon in her customized driver on Dubai. Using the power of Xbox One X, Forza Motorsport 7 runs at a native 4K and a rock-solid 60 frames per second. And we have the additional power to deliver shocking levels of detail. Using super high resolution assets, we've recreated the intense feel of one of the greatest driving roads in the world, the Hafeet Mountain Pass. But in Forza Motorsport 7, we've reimagined the entire racing experience on all devices. Racing is more immersive and dynamic. Ominous skies roll in as car parts rattle and vibrate. We've made racing more epic and grand. Race through living environments featuring spectacular vistas and massive scale. You can see we've made racing more dynamic and surprising. Dynamic puddles grow as the storm unleashes its fury. It's more thrilling and competitive. Feel the intense heat grease up your tires as you battle your rivals. And it's more beautiful and alive. Dark skies open up and change as the sun emerges from the clouds for a breathtaking finish. Racing is reborn in Forza. Whether running on the Xbox One family of consoles or Windows 10 PCs, Forza Motorsport 7 is the most technically advanced and comprehensive racing games ever made. With more than 700 cars, it features the largest collection of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches ever assembled. Today, you are the first people to see the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. And this week at E3, like me, you can be the first to drive it. 
So come experience the most powerful road-going 911 ever made on the Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made in Forza Motorsport 7. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to play a ton of Forza Motorsport 7 when it ships on October 3rd. And when Xbox One X launches, we will all get to experience Forza Motorsport 7 in true 4K at 60 frames per second. Today, we're going to showcase the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. It is the largest and I believe the most diverse lineup of games that we've ever shown on our Xbox E3 stage. Games from creators large and small, games that inspire and challenge us, games that transport us to new worlds and offer us new perspectives, and games that push the boundary of our art form. Today, we will feature 42 games here on our stage. Including 22 games with console exclusivity on Xbox One. Every one of these games will play great on each member of the Xbox One family, but of course, they will play best on Xbox One X. Up next is a game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In 2010, 4A Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. Now, I'm honored to bring them back with the premiere of their next work, running in-engine in true 4K. World Premiere.
world premiere. We are the first. The first to see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. The first to guard the soul from evil. We conquered this land and built an empire. There are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. Creative Director Jean Gadon. Thank you. Ancient Egypt is the birthplace of modern civilization, and it is also the birthplace of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect setting for an epic gaming adventure, Egypt. 3,000 years of history and mystery at the tip of your fingers. Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjai, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like. And his struggle against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. But recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time, pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One X running in 4K. And now, just for you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle Medunamun. World premiere. Siwa, my home, the sacred oasis. The Medjay has returned. I thought he was dead. Our Medjay, the last protector of our present. Siwa has not been the same. I hope you are here to bring us to the moon. Be my eyes, Senu. Mm. 
This temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? Get out of my way. There you are, Medunamon. The next masked one on my list. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. Better be careful here. I should go drop these trees in the desert. Let the sand take them. Ah, a fine bow. Senu. Betunamon. Medunamun. At Xbox, we've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities of gamers not only play together, they create together and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even better. This one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. The creative director of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a gamer turned developer who designed this game together with a passionate community. Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against 100 other players to be the last one standing. Our team's focus is to bring the most complete battle royale experience ever to console and deliver a great experience across all Xbox One devices. Our development is truly community driven and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over 3 million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to Xbox One later this year with an update for Xbox One X enhancements shipping with the final version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. Exclusive. 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 What would you do if the world you knew was gone? All the comforts, the simple pleasures you took for granted. How would you protect yourself and the ones you love when the protectors can't even save themselves? Come 
last truck. Get in. Decide who belongs. Thanks. I owe you. How will you choose a place to call home? How will you build it? Work together to defend it. From the terror just outside the walls. When you get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? And the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart. Will you end a life? Wait. Or save it. Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. find the strength to carry on. In this world of the living and the dead, How will you survive? Exclusive. remaining. One player remaining. And what a play from the wounded warrior. She was caught in a trap, but she used superior tactics to get herself out of there. She's gonna take the win. Let's move on to the next arena. Here we're following Bloody Marrow. There's only two players left in this particular map. Those tracks are leading up, but that tree is gonna give them direct information. That red outline, there's a mortal unicorn, and he's letting in about 100 meters away now. Looks like he might be crafting or something, but what is this that Bloody Marrow's gonna do? Getting ever closer, drawing that beeline, and now he's gonna cloak it up. Is he gonna walk in through the front door or what? Looks like he's gonna sneak in on the back window. Here we go, shot in the back, that's one twice. The Immortal's in trouble. Somebody from Mixer decided to chime in. That invulnerability bubble's gonna help him out. 
and put on the fight of his life. There we go, the nice strike on Bloody Barrel, bouncing it up far, and there we go. Oh, that was gonna do the damage with the arrow to the belly. That's gonna be the win for Bloody Barrel. Bloody Barrel wins the round. Please welcome, from Mo Yang, Brand Director Lydia Winters. This summer, millions of Minecraft players will be able to play together on the device of their choice for the first time. Xbox Live will unite the global Minecraft community across mobile, VR, Windows 10 PCs, and consoles. As part of this effort, we're excited to welcome player-made skins, maps, textures, and massive community-run servers into the game itself. Because we know that the amazing content you create makes Minecraft even better. This fall, Minecraft will receive a free 4K update that brings more graphical options to the game. But we didn't stop there. With all this talk about graphics, we're taking things one step further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft that we're super duper excited for you to try out. One that's inspired by the power of Xbox One X and available this fall. Let's check it out. Minecraft in 4K. When the Minecraft team showed me the first version of the game in 4K, I was blown away. Moyang is a great example of a studio that started something new and different that led to a global phenomenon. At Xbox, we're searching for games that are fresh, new, and in some cases, familiar. That means ensuring that the biggest third-party franchises you want to play are there for you on Xbox One. Of course, you'll find these great games in the Xbox Store, available for pre-order today. But bringing the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Delivering broad, diverse, and new games to Xbox means searching to find unique games from creators around the world that will surprise and delight. To me, these next few games do just that. Starting with a game I got to play on a recent trip to Japan. It's hilarious, a little crazy, and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. World premiere.
Exclusive. Exclusive. Exclusive.
We've scoured the globe meeting with creative artists and development teams, and I'm often surprised and humbled by their work. Whether it's a story that can only be born of a different land, or artistic design and storytelling that in a single moment can capture your imagination and inspire. There is much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, I'm excited to share with you an extended look at never before seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. Exclusive. joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Just you, the wide open world, and oh, well, it's not just you, she's here too. Oh, and this guy's here. But, but, but the point is, this is a shared world, right for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. Look at them, scurrying around, making themselves useful. That's what we like to see. The world of Sea of Thieves seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. Few things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful though, there could be anything down there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking, that was a joke. Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance bonus. Every player's decisions and discoveries will be different, but however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Amazing workmanship. Anyway, better get them back on board while the coast is clear. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. That is not a beast you want to pick a fight with. Yes, it's possible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not much used to your crew bitten in two. Sometimes a tactical retreat is perfectly acceptable, in the spirit of that legendary pirate captain, Pathetic Dave. Thankfully, for every tense standoff, there's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, stow your hard-earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge beneath the sands, the gold lies hidden from thieving hands. Well, that's typical. Oh, look! Here we are at Devil's Ridge. Nice transition, by the way. And so you'll shift from the heart of the sea to the island shore, where you'll explore jungles and coves, cliff tops and caverns. Every region has its very own landmarks, and over time, you'll uncover hidden shortcuts, abandoned stashes, and vistas that will steal your grog-soaked breath away. And yes, sometimes you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. That's pirating for you. Keep that pistol primed, because you'll also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, caught short in pursuit of their own legends. After life of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. Now, make sure your crewmates all have a part to play. Yep, that works. And look, he brought the riddle map. Seek the cursed boar shrine where there is no sky. It lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm, right, well that's got to be around here somewhere. But, if you've got a bad feeling, you can always leave someone on board to brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions, decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to wander off track. Unless, of course, you're streaming, and you'll have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway.
Don't mind that. It's probably nothing. Just kids. Of course, the Premier Plunder isn't just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make light work of each new mystery. Light work. Little lantern joke there. You're welcome. Anyway, step 11 paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. Then again, some of the loot in these parts has lain undisturbed for a long, long time. That has to be the spot. You can practically taste the treasure. Good call on the double duty shovel work too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. Ah, very nice. Of course, the trouble with treasure, as a rule, is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, not that way. That's it, easy now. Don't stop, keep going! Almost there! Watch that next step, it's a doozy! Now that's a rescue! and get chess back to your ship, you'll be able to turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. That's just the tiny matter of making it through this storm in one piece. of thieves, and you can live yours however you want, so rally your crew. Swear your oaths and set sail for riches and infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one. Exclusive. Exclusive. 
world premiere. Exclusive. Exclusive. Motherfucker. They killed the power around the world. We're gonna light it back up because this is far from over. In fact, it's only just begun. That's why we brought in you. You got the talent. Now you need the tech. Think things too far! Today, you throw grenades. Boom! Tomorrow, you'll be throwing cars. Ah! Forget dropping bombs. You're dropping buildings. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to get to work. <laughs> time to step up your boom! Determination to conquer all my ambitions. Ready to this position and so my disposition. Not seeing no limits, killing the competition. Yeah, I'm a beast.
Some people never have trouble. That's why they don't know what the struggle is. I don't pay the cost. And they know the boss. And I lost my losses. Now I'm taking off. Yeah, I'm a beast. Man, I'm a least. Ready to beast. Beast, not the least. I think that I'm number one. Just to keep it a hundred. Zero to a hundred. So you have a component. Are you a beast? Are you a least? At Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work, making it easy for them to build and share their creations. That's why the ID at Xbox program is so important to us. The team has released over 500 games on Xbox One and Windows 10 through the ID at Xbox program. And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story, skill, surprise. These next few games bring it all together. Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone makes it something very special. Exclusive. The dark is older than the light. At last a day dawned, and we rose with this first light. That light was a betrayal, only fleeting. In its wake, the night returned to claim us. After lifetimes, the light grows again, faint and vulnerable. This rebirth will end our wandering.
premiere. Please welcome, from Monolith Productions, Vice President of Creative, Michael DePlatter. Remember me? You tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering. So now I'm gonna kill you, for all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Here, we'll use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Good for a tickle, maybe. But you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. This has never happened to me before. Same thing, really. 
It results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? So we already have a few loyal followers in our army, and recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the Overlord. We're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! So we've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven new You're orc tribes we've added. The machine will grind you to paste. I hate big things. Cool. Finally! Dishonor the Stelius! Instead of killing the machine, we'll I dominate him, so we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the Overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers. on the defenders. Define focus. There are unlimited ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. And we can't wait to show you more this week at E3. Thank you very much. Exclusive world premiere.
Ori affirms my belief in the beauty, artistry, and heart within the art of gaming. We believe that games, like books, movies, and music, should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate about preserving and celebrating the games you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. That's why two years ago, we launched the Xbox Backward Compatibility Program to bring Xbox 360 games to your Xbox One. And we've seen tremendous growth in the program. Today, our library of games stands at 385 titles, and over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback, and you want more. Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. <laughs> Our team of engineers are working hard to bring us some of your favorite original Xbox game to today's Xbox One library. <laughs> including a fan favorite that I'm asked about often by the community, Crimson Skies. And it looks great. And like the Xbox 360 games, OG games will look better and play better across the Xbox One family. We'll have more to share about this program when it launches later this year. I'm proud of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, or Minecraft, we'll pre be providing 4K updates to these titles for free. And we already have over 30 titles from our third-party partners that are planning to provide free updates as part of our Xbox One X Enhanced program. Titles like Final Fantasy 15, Resident Evil 7, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, and Rocket League, just to name a few. This means you probably already have a large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. Today, we showcase some of the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. We showed you the largest and most diverse lineup of new games that have ever appeared on our stage. From every corner of the globe, from developers large and small, 42 games, including 22 with console exclusivity on Xbox One. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. And every game will play great across the Xbox One family. And on Xbox One X, runs every single game you've seen even better. So if you haven't joined the Xbox One family, now's the time. This week, you'll find Xbox One S available in the US for $249. And on November 7th, we'll begin worldwide rollout of Xbox One X, the world's most powerful console at $499. Be the first to experience unrivaled power and performance on the Xbox One. We close today's show by looking to the future with a really great partner. They've been with us from the earliest days of Project Scorpio, and they're building an incredible game that takes advantage of the power and performance of the Xbox One family and the new Xbox One X. Please welcome 
Patrick Sutherland, Executive Vice President, EA Worldwide Studios. New IP is the lifeblood of our industry. It's also risky. At EA, we have teams dreaming up a lot of projects, and only the greatest will make it their way to you. And that's OK. It's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it, because when you find something special, there is no better feeling as a developer than introducing players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. Our developers at Bioware have been creating something truly special, a huge open world that is lush, savage, mysterious, and ever-changing. Filled with interesting characters and new types of gameplay you'll enjoy with your friends for years to come. This is what's possible when we take an extraordinary vision and combine it with the latest technologies and hardware. Amazing concepts become possible. Great ideas become reality. So here we are. And we are so excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like running on an Xbox One X. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you Anthem. Hi, I'm John Warner, Game Director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Hey. Freelancer. Praxley. Listen, there's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> I made a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I thought maybe. Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there, somewhere. If you could just bring them back, anything you need. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers, the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Bam, looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced in all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right, let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. Dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. 
Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. We're getting some fire from up ahead. I'll go low. You flank. I think we got some action event. Anyone? Anyone? We're under attack. Anyone in the area? We're under attack. I think that's part of Crax's mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Scars have a heavy. I have time to use that mortar. <laughs> Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. Large-scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there.